couple of beers from the fridge. Hope you don't mind. Major's a light. Figure a girl like you likes to watch her figure. I know I sure do. Have you given any thought to, you know, what we talked about? Oh, yeah, Ethel. She won't bother us anymore. That's good, Sam. That makes me happy. And you know what I like to do when I'm happy. How did you do it? Do what? Your wife, Ethel. How did you kill her? Well, I didn't kill her. I just told her. I told her about us. You did what? Sam. I won't let you do it. I won't let you get away with it. Or you. Ethel, put the gun down. Okay, don't worry. She's not going to shoot. Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Kate Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them. I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. Every week, Crazy Eddie posts my journals on the website Paranoid Times. I need people to know they're here. A few emails have trickled in, but nobody who takes me for real. Nobody who believes. Until now. Clarksburg, Missouri. Nick Patterson swears he witnessed a double homicide. Only one of the victims got up and walked away. Based on what he read in my journals, Nick thinks she's an alien with the power of self-healing. Maybe she is. Or maybe Nick's just a kid with an overactive imagination. I'm usually guided by Nostradamus quatrains. Today, I'm taking a shot on the word of a teenage boy. Nick? Who are you? Ross Banks, with the Paranoid Times. You're with the webpage? Yeah, as if. Is there a problem? Hey, take a look at yourself. I know webheads, and I can tell you don't know the first thing about hacking. Freaking, cracking, clipper chips, black boxes, or the internet. Do you? I know about being a punk. It's a survival technique I used on the street, except this ain't the street. You're hanging in your parents' driveway, so why are you throwing me the attitude? Two weeks ago, you left a post on Paranoid Times website. You want to talk about it or not? There. That's where I saw it happen, through that second story window. That's where you saw Ethel Delaney shoot her husband and another woman? Michelle Ingram. She lives there. I read about her in the paper. She told the police that she wasn't home during the shooting. That Sam Delaney broke into her house. Why would Mr. Delaney be alone in Michelle's bed wearing boxer shorts? Good point. I saw Mrs. Delaney. Bam, bam, bam! And then Michelle's bullet wounds, they just heal right on the spot. If 
If that's true, Miss Delaney must have missed her vital organs. A well-placed gunshot will kill an alien. Michelle's house is almost 60 yards away. How can you be sure what she saw? Come back at 7 tonight and I'll show you. Nick, come set the supper table. You better get going. I'll come back at 7. Well, wait. All those journals on the internet, everything they say about aliens, is it true? I mean, do they really exist? You read the journals, what do you think? Well, I thought they were bull until I saw what happened across the street. Everything you read in those journals is true. Well, what's he like? Um, the guy who writes the journals, uh, the alien hunter. Damn it, Nick, get in here. You better go. Ross Banks. I just wanted to ask you a few questions about the murder next door. Hello? The state science fair rolls around next month. You think about entering this year, Nick? Nope. Well, that's too bad. You took runner up last year. You could win this time. Nick, I, I thought you really enjoyed this. Well, for heaven's sake, Joanne, the boy knows what he wants. No point in pushing him. I was just. I know what you were just. Sounds life in the heartland. I've been knocking on doors trying to find someone who can corroborate the kid's story. All I keep finding are scared neighbors filled with mistrust. My kind of people. Yeah, well, they don't exactly uh, make for the best information sources, Eddie. You believe the kid? He's convinced of what he saw. I'm not sure I am yet. I'm on a background check on a Michelle Ingram. She's the one that Nick said took a bullet in the side and walked away. Okay. Keep me posted. Yeah. Expecting someone? Just a friend. I'll be in my room. Hey. Hey. Well, just come on upstairs. Uh, shouldn't I meet your parents first? No, they know you're here. Telescope. It was the Constellation Prize in last year's state science fair. Get it? Constellation? You like science? I mean, used to. It's boring now. The stars are a little low in the sky, aren't they, Nick? I'll take a look. Every night at 7 sharp, Michelle takes a shower and then gets dressed. Now, do you see any bullet wounds or scars on that body? Nick, if you've dragged me down to Clarksburg to check out a woman undressing... I knew it. Cops don't believe me, and neither do my parents. Why should you be any different? I never said I didn't believe you. Yeah, but you don't, do you? You printed all these journals from the website? That's right. I read them five times. You know that guy? The alien hunter? He believed me. 
Wish they sent him instead of you. You know something, Nick, you're right. He would believe you. You know him? I'm sorry for doubting you. Okay, let's figure out what we know here. Well, we know a hot babe like Michelle isn't going to do the nasty with a guy like Sam Delaney without a real good reason. What do you know about Sam Delaney? Out of work TV repairman, watered the lawn to Speedos and rubber boots. Now, I figure Michelle's into him for something. Why else would she be with a guy like that? Nick. Nick, have you seen... Who are you? Uh, Ross Banks. I'm with the Paranoid Times. We publish an uh, internet website. The internet? Nick, you met this man on the internet? Ron! Mom, come on, what is your problem? Who are you? I apologize, Mr. Patterson, Mrs. Patterson. I was under the impression that Nick had told you that I was visiting today. No. I'm sorry. I, my bowling league just finished, and I couldn't stay away from you one more minute. And I had to come by. You forgive me? Come here. Oh. Never again, unless I'm expecting you, okay? And never use the front door. Now, what have you got for me? bought it this morning very good my love now when do you plan to use it Barry we need your wife gone if we're gonna make love on beautiful beaches for the rest of our lives we need to be rid of her okay I know I know tonight I'll do it tonight okay go home We'll have the rest of our lives to do this when the job's complete. I'm sure Mr. Banks is okay. The point is, you didn't ask before inviting an adult stranger into our home. Your father's right, Nick. We don't know anything about this man. Let me handle this, honey. What do we do with you, Nick? You don't listen. You're withdrawn. You stop participating at school, and nothing works with you. We have to get more involved, Ron. I don't like this hands-off approach to parenting. Not now, Joanne. Excuse me, no, and please, don't cut me off again. You know, Ron, maybe if you trusted in my instincts in the first place, our son wouldn't be fantasizing and making up Shut this... Shut up! Shut up! You're so worried about me. Why don't you figure out your own damn problems? Nick! Mrs. Gimmel? Go away. I couldn't help but notice you keep a pretty close eye on this neighborhood. I really wish you'd talk to me, tell me what you know. Go away. There's some pretty good people being hurt. Never did anything for me. That's because you're probably a disagreeable pain in the ass. I heard that. Please, just... We just think about it. I could really use your help. I'll come back again.
Mr. Banks, can I talk to you? I contacted your webpage, Paranoid Times. They vouched for you. I'm sorry for being rude yesterday. You have to look after your own. Yeah, well, I'm afraid. We haven't been doing a very good job of that lately. Nick has shut himself off from the world, spends hours in his room. Quite frankly, Mr. Banks, I don't know what to do. All you can do is love him. He'll come around, just don't give up. Hey, how did you... Uh, your mom, she said I should uh, come up and say hello. She seems pretty cool. No, she's not. She just lets you come up here because she feels guilty. All they do is fight. I can't stand it. Hey, Michelle's back. Take a look. She usually works during the day. I feel like a peeping Tom. No way, dude. We're hunting aliens. Hold on, Nick. Looks like our girl next door has some company. All right, my turn. Ah, uh, you know what? They went downstairs. You couldn't see who it was anyway. Why don't you show me your computer set up here? Okay. Okay, checked out Michelle Ingram. And? Uh, she moved to Clarksburg from Boise three months ago. Uh, works as a nurse at the local hospital. We've got about 12 grand in her savings account. No outstanding parking fines. Sounds clean. That's what they do. They blend in. Well, she's really blending in all right. I saw Nick's father creeping around her bedroom. Ouch. I don't want Nick getting hurt in any of this, Eddie. We've always wondered if anyone reads my journals. Well, this kid does. Talks about me like I'm some kind of comic book hero. Calls me the alien hunter. The alien hunter. <laughs> That's cool. What do you think about me, huh? The brains always juking and jiving in the shadows, shaving your ass. He doesn't mention you. No. Oh. I'll call you when I find out more, Eddie. There's a there's a woman, a neighbor next door. I think she knows something. If I can get her to talk. See you later, Eddie. See you around, Mr. Alien Hunter. Can I be excused in my room? You haven't eaten anything. I'm not hungry. Nick. For Pete's sake, Joanne, if he doesn't want to eat, let him go up to his room. Oh. <laughs> That's good, Ron. Send him up to his room. We have a son who lives in a fantasy world and tells the police stories about aliens, and all you want to do is ignore him. Michelle is an alien, all right? I saw her kissing Mr. Delaney. That will be enough, Nick. Upstairs. stand it in there you okay the minute i turn 18 i'm getting the hell out of clarksburg where you gonna go la new york maybe miami man i wish i could be like him the alien hunter you know, traveling from city to city kicking ass what was he like at my age the uh the alien hunter was in Chicago, south side. Loved to play hockey. Had a famous slap shot called the runaway train. Go on. 
Never knew his biological father. Grew up instead with a stepfather. An alcoholic son of a bitch who beat on him and his mother. Until his mother died of cancer when he was 17. Well, you know, having no parents, it made him tough, right? No, no, it didn't make him... From what he tells me, it made him... sad. He became a thief. See, Nick, you didn't have the family you had to guide him. Some family. At least you have one. Whose house is that? No. Old lady Gimmel. Some crazy shut-in. Nobody ever sees her. My parents have dragged me over to Mr. Lorenzini's barbecue. You want to come with? Yeah. Yeah, I want to come with. Hot dogs, hot dogs. Get them while they're hot. Smokey, Barbara. Hey, Warren. Enjoy, man. Hey, boys, how's your beers? Really good. Good? All right. Having a party, huh? Harry, Burger hey, Meister. Hey, How you doing? Great, man, great. What do you want? Burger? Steak? What? Uh, make it a double-double. All right, you got it, man. Four onions. Hey, how about a three-banger? Yeah. Live on the edge. Yeah. Having a party. <laughs> Where's the little life, man? Oh, Liz? Uh, she went to visit her mom or something. You like baby back ribs? I got some buttes here. No, later, buddy. No, come on, come on, come on. Got an extra burger, Barry? I shouldn't be here. It's too soon for us to be seen together. I'm just a friendly neighbor. Come by for a visit. That's all. Go home. Crazy bastard. What's got into you, Barry? Don't these people know how embarrassing they are? Aren't you a little young to be so cynical? Don't play stupid with me. I saw what you just did. And if you do it again, so help me, one. That? <laughs> yeah. It's a little late, Barry. I've been doing that every night for the last week. <laughs> <laughs> You're psycho, man. Yeah? Psycho. Yeah. Psycho. Yeah, you want to see psycho? Come out of that swimming pool. I'll show you psycho. Yeah, what? Barbecue tools? Hey, we're having a party. Could you believe old Barry today? The way he went off on Warren. I couldn't believe it. I saw you, Ron. Saw so what, honey? You and Michelle Ingram, I... I saw you talking to her at the barbecue. Since when is talking against the law? I guess it isn't. Don't play games with me, Ron. You live with a man for 18 years. You get to know things about him he doesn't even know about himself. You just... You just know. Have you slept with her yet? Oh, 
Okay. Okay, I, uh... I, uh... I gotta go. Where are you going? How should I know? Of a possible break in this address. I don't think so. I've been here all evening. Well, your neighbor, Mrs. Gimble, she saw a man climbing up your trellis. I'd like to take a look around. Okay. Come in. job not anymore I'm married well that's good your wife won't mind sharing will she <sighs> keeping a guy like you all to herself just doesn't seem fair to the rest of us girls let's go not here downstairs Michelle's bedroom window. Just like the alien hunter would do. Stop it. You're gonna get us both in a lot of danger. <laughs> but you're him. I mean, he's you. Well, yeah. Cool. I knew it. Look, let me help. I saw everything through my telescope. Nick, listen, this ain't no comic book. You have no idea what we're dealing with here. No, it's not a comic book. My mom left my dad tonight because she thinks he's screwing with Michelle. I do know what we're up against. I do know. Okay. 
Listen, I, I didn't get a great view from inside that closet. Maybe you can tell me what you saw through your telescope. Okay, well, first the cop. He's like too cool for the room. Like he's all about the job. And then Michelle, she she puts on this uh, perfume. And the cop's drooling all over her. I saw the mailman deliver this to Michelle today. We have to figure out what's in this perfume. I'll call crazy Eddie. Uh, no. Let me. Nick. What? Look, I'm no bubba when it comes to science. I got a precision tech microscope in my garage, plus I know all the websites with chemical charts. Well, I guess I probably couldn't get Eddie here until tomorrow anyway. <laughs> yes! Be careful with that. Well, I got your answer. Are you serious? A powerful man's not the one who has the nuclear bomb. It's the one who can find the information to build the bomb. Crazy Eddie taught me that. Crazy Eddie, huh? What do you think of him? He seems smart enough and all. He's kind of a geek, isn't he? Come on. There were too many chemical compounds for me to identify, but I managed to isolate the predominant ones based on molecular structure. And what'd you come up with? That perfume is loaded with pheromones. Pheromones? A natural aphrodisiac? Yep. Usually found in sweat glands. But those... Those are synthetic. If the Guam figured out a way to enhance pheromones, this could be an actual... love potion. Which means my father might not be responsible for his actions. You're right. Nick, you're exactly right. I gotta get back to work. Okay. I've been thinking. I'm ready to go now. You and me, far away. You don't seem very happy about it. Well, this affair has destroyed my family. My wife left. My son won't talk to me. You know how I feel about them, Ron? I won't share you with anyone. You know what you have to do before you can have me forever. Mm. I want you forever. Did you buy what I told you to buy? No. Not yet. 
Well, I did. You will do this for us, won't you, baby? Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up there, sir, alien hunter. You're saying the kid analyzed the chemicals? That's my job. Wait, well, hey, don't take it personally. He's a smart kid. I'm not so easily replaced, you know. I know. I'm a very important part of this team. I know. You should, you should hear what he says about you. He said he never mentions me. Well, he does now. He calls you the, uh... He calls you the masked brain. I guess it's not so bad. So come on, Eddie. You found a quadrain that fits the MO or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to this. Okay. Uh. When Jezebel enters the village, her steps shall shake foundations. With a venomous flower, she breaks chains of steel. The only thing Michelle's breaking up are innocent families. As a Chinese philosopher said, the root of the kingdom is in the state... The root of the state is in the family. So if the guac undermined the fabric of the family, they wouldn't need weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> yeah, they could just plant a Michelle in every neighborhood across the country. Okay, thanks, Eddie. So what's next? What's next is we stop Michelle from hurting anybody else in the neighborhood. What do you got in your little lab here, Nick? My dad doing home in the middle of the day. Come downstairs. We gotta talk. I'm coming. Hold on. Let me go. He's my dad. Stay here. I think we need to talk, Mr. Patterson. Where's my son? He's upstairs. Put the gun down. I have to ask you to leave, Mr. Banks. I need to have a private talk with Nick. I can't do that. Excuse me? We know what's happening between you and Michelle. We also know it's not your fault. Are you sleeping with her? Dad, what are you doing with the gun? It's not your fault, Mr. Patterson. She uses a chemical which makes her impossible to refuse. You're a liar. No, he's not. He's telling the truth. Michelle's trying to get all the guys in this neighborhood to do screwed up things. Why should I believe him? I don't care if you believe him. I want you to believe me. Please, Dad. Put the gun down. She wanted me to kill you. I still do, my love. Somehow I thought you might need some encouragement. I see I was right. Maybe you need a little more of this, huh? Ah, the handsome stranger. So nice of you to return what you stole. Michelle, what are you doing? Okay, Ron, it's time to end this. Kill them both. Ron! Do you need some inspiration? What is this? Acid. Hydrochloric acid.
That was an alien. Nick wasn't lying to you. Your son saw an alien. And now you have to. You're saying the perfume made you do it? Exactly. So what are we supposed to do now? I know it sounds crazy, but you're gonna have to tell them who Michelle really was. It's the only way to expose them. Nobody's ever gonna believe that. I know. What made you come back, Mom? In 18 years of marriage, I've never run away from a fight. I'm not about to start now. I managed to cut a deal with my parents. I'll enter the science fair if they go to counseling. Stick with them, Nick. They're good people. They care about you a lot. Yeah, I know. So am I going to read about all this in your journals? You can count on it. <laughs> no one believed Nick saw an alien. Not his parents, not the police. As we get older, we stop believing a monster lives under the bed. Thank God Nick believed. If my journals created one believer, it means there will be a second, and a third, and one day a chorus demanding to be heard. I live for that day. You! Yeah, you! Come here! decided to trust you, kid. You want to know what's going on? Yeah. That girl next door, Michelle, she got her claws in all the men. She seduces them with its perfume. It really stinks. She's always putting it on. Is that right? That mailman, that, that stupid whistling one, he brings it to her. He's one of them, too. One of who? The aliens. How did... How did you... You just gotta keep your eyes open, you know what I mean? In the end, maybe we all could learn a lesson from the neighborhood snoop. You just gotta keep your eyes open. <laughs>